Hi, I'm Mr. Simon, and today we'll be exploring the wonderful world of physics. Our focus for today's lesson is prefixes. But before we look at prefixes, we must know our base quantities. There are five base quantities. Number one, length, the SI unit is in meter. Number two, mass, the SI unit is in kilogram. Number three, time, the SI unit is in seconds. Number four, temperature, the SI unit is in Kelvin. Now remember, temperature, the SI unit is in Kelvin and not Celsius. Number five, that's current, the SI unit is in ampere. Only five base quantities. And now for the prefixes, there are tera, giga, mega, kilo, deci, centi, milli, micro, nano, pico. That's a lot to remember, isn't it? It isn't difficult if you remember the following acrostic. The Green Monster King drinks chocolate milk, making night party. Not bad at all, huh? Let's take a look at some exam questions. Amir is listening to a radio frequency of 92.9 MHz. What is the radio frequency in standard form? So M is mega and mega is times 10 to the power of 6. So just substitute times 10 to the power of 6 into mega. Now convert it to standard form. Just move one decimal place to the front and add 1 to times 10 to the power of 6 to make it 7. Voila! That's one mark in your hand. Super easy. Let's try something a little more difficult. Please convert 72 kilometers per hour to meters per second. First, split the 72 kilometers per hour into 72 kilometers over one hour. I'm sure you know, 72 km is 72,000 meters, and one hour is 60 minutes times 60 seconds, which is 3,600 seconds. Simplifying, you will get 200 meters per second. Always remember to write your units. In the exam, if your number is correct, but your unit is not there, it is still marked wrong. Here's a simple conversion. You can remember that will help you save time. The conversion units for density. It's always 1 gram per cm cube is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube, just times 1000. Now for the final question. The quantities below show the volume of three containers that are filled with water. 500 cm cube, 5 dm cube, 5 times 10 to the power of negative 5 meter cube. Now arrange the quantities in ascending order. Point to note, ascending order is from the lowest to the highest. To solve this question, you must first convert all the values to SI unit and standard form. So for 10 to the power of minus 2, when you cube it, it becomes 10 to the power of minus 6. Substitute cm cube with 10 to the power of negative 6 meter cube. And you will get 5 times 10 to the power of minus 4. Next, 1 dm cube equals to 10 to the power of minus 3. 5 dm cube equals to 5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube. The last quantity is already in standard form. Put them next to each other in standard form. The lowest value is the one with the smallest power, in this case, negative 5. Thus, the order should be 5 times 10 to the power of minus 5 meter cube, 500 cm cube, and 5 dm cube. Remember, the green monster king drinks chocolate milk, making night party. Good luck in your exams. I'm Mr. Simon, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode of SPM Top Tutor Physics.